Hello everyone, Fusion X is a video generation model based on WAN 2.114 BT2V. Using this model, we can generate high quality videos in less time. In this video, I'll show you how to generate videos from images using Fusion X. So let's get started. So let's see where we can download Fusion X and other necessary files to run the model. All download links are available in the description below. First, let's open this link for downloading Fusion X. Here we go, as you scroll down, you'll find a lot of valuable information regarding Fusion X. The developer of Fusion X recommends some specific settings that might be helpful, so I highly suggest reading through them. Now back to downloading. To download Fusion X, click on Files and Versions. Here you'll see various LoRa's of Fusion X. If you already have the WAN 2.1 models, you can use these LoRa's to significantly speed up your video generation. However, for this tutorial, I'll be focusing on the full models. We have text-to-video models, a phantom model, and an image-to-video model. As I mentioned at the beginning, I'll be focusing on the image-to-video model. This model is available in two variants, FP8 and FP16. I'll be using the FP8 model, if your system can handle the FP16 model. I highly recommend using that one. Use the download buttons provided to get your models. And in case your system can't run either of these, you can try other quantized models available as GGUF files. So let's open this link in our browser. So here we have a lot of quantized models in GGUF format. I suggest starting with the lowest quantized models and seeing for yourself what works best for you. Use the download buttons to download the models. Later in this video, I will show you how to use these GGUF models in Comfy UI. Moving on, next we need a text encoder. Let's open this link in our browser. Here we have two variants of the UMT5XXL model. If your computer can run the FP16 model, use that. If not, use the FP8 model. Use the download buttons to download the model you need. If you cannot run either model, you can try other quantized versions of UMT5XXL which come in GGUF format. So let's see, let's open this link in our browser. Here we have a lot of quantized models. The smallest one is Q3KS. I suggest starting with the lowest quantized model to see what is best for you. Use the download buttons to download the models. Moving on, next we need Clip Vision. Let's open this link in our browser. Here we go. Guys, if you have already used WAN models, you might have this file. If not, download the file using the download button. Next, we need a VAE file. Let's open this link in our browser. Here we are, just like before. If you are already using WAN models, you might have this file. If so, just use that. If not, download it. After downloading all the files, let's see where we need to put them inside Comfy UI. Open the Downloads folder. First, let's select Fusion X. One is in safe tensors format and the other is in GGUF format, cut these files. Now open Comfy UI's models folder, find the folder called Diffusion Models, open it and paste the files there. After that, go back to the downloads folder. Let's select the UMT5 files which come in safe tensors and GGUF format. Cut these files and open the Comfy UI models folder. Then, find the folder called Text Encoders, open it and paste the files. Next, go back to the downloads folder. Let's select and cut the Clip Vision H Safa tensors file and then open the Comfy UI models folder. Find and open the folder called Clip Vision and then paste the file. Then again, go back to the downloads. Let's select and cut the VAE file. Again, open the Comfy UI Models folder. Find the folder called VAE, open it, and paste the file. After that, launch Comfy UI. In my case, Comfy UI is already running, so let's switch to it. Here we go. Let's refresh it by pressing R on the keyboard. Now we can start building the workflow for using Fusion X, or we can just use a template provided by Comfy UI and then modify it to use Fusion X. So let's open a template. On the top left, click on Workflow. A drop-down menu will appear, then click on Browse Templates. Oops, let's do that again. Here we go, scroll down and look for Video and click on it. Now scroll down and look for WAN 2.1 Image to Video. Here it is, let's click on it. Let's close this message. Now let's start modifying this workflow. Go to the Load Diffusion Model node. In Unet Name, select Fusion X. If you are using the FP16 model, select that one. Then go to the Load Clip node. In clip name, select UMT5XXL FP8. If you are using FP16, then select that. Next, change device from default to CPU. For me, sometimes the default option causes out of memory issues. After that, go to the model sampling SD3 node. Change the shift value to 2. Sometimes you can try a shift value of 1. Keep experimenting, guys. Then move on to the K sampler. So guys, I'm going to use the same seed for the entire tutorial, but you can try different seeds for different results. Then change the steps from 20 to 8. Alternatively, you can try 9, 10, or even 6 for faster generation. Change the CFG value to 1.0. For the sampler, I will be using UniPC and the scheduler will be simple. Now let's delete the VAE decode and save animated web nodes. And let's add a VAE decode tiled node. 
So double click and search for VAE decode tiled, click on it, then connect the latent output of K sampler to the sample's input of VAE decode tiled, then connect the VAE output of load VAE to the VAE input of VAE decode tiled. Now, let's change the tile size to 192. If you are getting out of memory issues, then I suggest trying an even lower tile size. Now, let's add a video combine node. Double click and search for video combine, click on it, let's move it here. Connect the image output of VAE decode tiled to the image's input of video combine. The frame rate I'm going to use is 16. For the file name, WAN is fine, but you can name it whatever you want. The format will be H264. Set save output to true. Now let's move on to the WAN image to video node. So guys, the developer of Fusion X suggests using a value of 1024x576 for horizontal video. Well, I'm going to use 480p resolution, so the width is 832 and the height is 480 and the length, which is in frames, we are going to use is 81. Moving on to load clip vision node, make sure you have clip vision H. Safatensors selected. Then guys, let's animate a photo. Since we are going to generate a horizontal video, let's choose this photo, click open, then let's move on to the positive prompt. I've already written something, so let's copy and paste it into the positive prompt. I will be using a simple prompt, a woman smiling and eating an apple. So, let's run the workflow to see the result. Here we go, the generation has finished. Let's open the video in a new tab. As you can see, the Fusion X did a good job with fewer steps. However, there is one problem, the motion isn't smooth because of the lower frame rate. Let's see how we can interpolate frames so the motion will be butter smooth. There are many ways we can perform frame interpolation. The model I will be using for frame interpolation is GIM VFI to use that model. We need to install a custom node pack, so let's see how we can install it. First, open the Comfy UI Manager. Click on Custom Nodes Manager and start searching for Comfy UI GIM VFI. Here it is, this custom node pack was created by Kidjai. I've already installed it, so you should too. Make sure you are installing the correct custom node pack, which has around 300 stars. Let's close the manager and start using GIM VFI. Double click an empty area and search for GIM VFI Interpolate. Here it is, let's click on it, then connect the image output of VAE decode tiled to the image's input of GIM VFI Interpolate. Next, click and drag from GIM VFI model, a drop-down menu will appear. Select Download and Load GIM VFI model. Let's zoom in a little bit. Here we have two GIM VFI models, one is R and the other is F. If you want faster generation, choose R. If you want higher quality, choose F, but the generation will be slower. Another way we can generate videos faster is by changing precision from FP32 to FP16. Now, let's move on to the GIM VFI Interpolate node. Here we need to set the interpolation factor. So guys, type how many frames you want to create here. If I want to double the frames, I'm going to type 2 in the interpolation factor. Next, let's add a video combine node. Double click and search for video combine. Click on it, then connect the images output of GIM VFI interpolate to the images input of video combine. Then set the frame rate. To calculate the new frame rate, just multiply 16 by the interpolation factor, which is 32, so let's type 32. For the file name, I'm going to use Fusion. Set the format to H264 and save output to true. Now, let's run the workflow to see the result. Here we go, the generation has finished. Let's open this video in a new tab. Now, look at this. The motion is so much smoother and better than before. If you compare it with the original video, you can spot the difference. Moving on, let's select another image. So I am going to use this portrait photo. Then let's copy and paste a prompt into the positive prompt. The prompt I will be using is a woman walking on a rainy path. Then let's run the workflow to see the result. Oops, sorry guys, I made a mistake. I forgot to change the resolution to match the new photo. As you can see right here, the video looks cropped. So let's move on to the WAN image to video node. For portrait videos, the width should be less than the height. So let's set the width value to 480 and the height value to 832. After that, let's run the workflow again. Here we go, the generation has finished. Let's open this video in a new tab. As you can see again, the Fusion X did a good job. Moving on, let's see how we can use GGUF models of Fusion X and the text encoder. First, let's delete the load diffusion model node and the load clip node. For using GGUF models, you must install a custom node pack called Comfy UI GGUF. Use the Comfy UI Manager for installing the node pack. Let's open the Comfy UI Manager. Click on Custom Nodes Manager. Then start searching for Comfy UI GGUF. Here it is, I've already installed one. So guys, make sure you install it too. So let's close this manager and start using GGUF models. 
Double-click an empty area and search for Unit Loader GGUF. Click on it. In Unit Name, select the quantized model of Fusion X. Here I will be using Q5. After that, connect the model output of Unit Loader GGUF to the model input of Model Sampling SD3. Then double-click and search for Clip Loader GGUF. Click on it. In Clip Name, select the quantized model of UMT5XXL. Here I will be using the Q6K model. Then change the type from Stable Diffusion to WAN. After that, connect the clip output to both positive prompt and negative prompt. After that, let's run the workflow to see the result. Here we go, the generation has finished. Let's open this video in a new tab. As you can see, the Q5 model of Fusion X did a really good job with minor imperfections, but overall it is a fine result. So for me, it took around 11 minutes to generate this five second video. So guys, that's it, thanks for watching. See you soon with another video. Let me know what you think about this video in the comment section. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to my channel.